In Magnavis, I see a product that has an incredibly safe profile and has had a wide range of wonderful uses that has really changed the practice of radiology. Well, in Magnavis, I see a, a reliable and very safe contrast agent that has had many applications over the years, um, all of which uh, have been very efficacious. It, it has helped us in many applications in imaging. Um, and almost on a daily or weekly or monthly basis, we see new and more uh, broad-based applications coming every day. So while it's a contrast agent that we use commonly all the time, uh, it's exciting because it's an agent that I think we will continue to use for many years, that we'll have new applications as they come along, and that as a radiologist has been very satisfying to use. I was uh, one of the co-investigators on the original phase three trials for Magnavis in the United States in the uh, early, mid-1980s. And Magnavis was designed to use in the brain, and the original trials were to uh, look at the brain. And um, I decided that since it was excreted through the kidneys, I'd take a look at the kidneys and see if it worked there. So we took the brain patients and stuck a peek at their kidneys, and sure enough, it worked extremely well. And I submitted this for publication in the mid-1980s, and I could not get it published mm -hmm. because um, the people who were reviewing it said, well, Magnavist is designed for the brain. You can't use it in the kidneys. So flash forward to uh, present day, and we use Magnavist not only in the brain and the spine, but virtually everywhere in the body breast, liver, pancreas, pelvis, blood vessels. It's been amazingly, uh, really has been an amazingly versatile um, drug. Well, Magnavis is the first of its kind to the market. It's a dream product. It still leads uh, the competition and market share. Nothing can compare with that. Uh, it's been well studied over 10,000 clinical studies, 50 million, approaching 50 million uses worldwide. There is no product in the world that is as tried and true and as reliable uh, and gives the, the clinicians comfort in, in, in performance as Magnavist. Competition says the product's old. Well, that's just jealousy. The fact of the matter is they copied us and they were simply late to the market. I think Magnavist is the best uh, MRI contrast agent on the market today. Uh, I was very proud to be associated with the development as well as the approval and launch of the product. Uh, it's an incredibly effective product and extremely safe. I was also very much involved with our high dose studies when we compared the 0.1 millimole per kilogram dose to the 0.3 millimole per kilogram dose. And what we saw, in essence, was while there was no difference in efficacy, the safety profile was virtually the same, again, demonstrating the, uh, the real outstanding safety profile of the product. So I think it has a great future, and I think it's a fantastic product that Burlux markets today. I see a product that basically revolutionized the way physicians diagnose certain diseases and treat certain diseases. I see a product that from an organizational perspective that just didn't have an impact purely in the area of diagnostic medicine, but had an impact with regards to how it helps shape an organization. I don't think a lot of people realize that Magnavis played a huge role in our ability to move further down the pathway in cardiovascular medicine. If it wasn't for Magnavis, we would never have acquired a product called Betapace. And that product later developed into another dosage form, Betapace AF. It was because of the strong technology position of Magnavis that enabled us to negotiate with another company and gain a cardiovascular product, which had tremendous success for a large number of years here at Burlex. 
So now it's been 15 years, and what do I see today with Magnavist? We're still number one in the marketplace. We created this market. Magnavist Injection owns this market. And it's interesting because so many of the concepts that we brought early on, that we brought to the customer, which was quality education, talking to the decision makers, talking to them on their platform, in their landscape, is still the thing that keeps us number one in the industry today. And that's what I see about Magnavist. It's been an awesome experience and it's an awesome product. We were given at the launch, which by the way, the entire launch ceremony was a terrific memory. We were in the shark tank of SeaWorld. And about two o'clock in the afternoon, we were looking at the sharks. And we heard pss, 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 all kinds of whispering. The next thing we knew, champagne came in on silver trays. And Bob Liptrot made the announcement Magnavist had been approved. It was so awesome. And then he said, how appropriate, as I look here at you salespeople in the shark tank, the sharks will be selling Magnavist. It was, it was fun. It was great fun. Uh, up until 1988, we had virtually only marketed Me Too imaging agents. Uh, when we approached the FDA in uh, 19, uh, I believe it was 85, to do our clinical studies, uh, they said, we don't need, you don't need a uh, contrast agent for MRI. And we were successful in convincing them that with Magnavis there was a real clinical benefit and you could see more and see better. In fact, that was our initial uh, launch campaign was see, with Magnavis was see more, see better, which is very, very true and factual. So we basically brought cutting edge technology uh, to the market through Burlux's innovation and in imaging. All of a sudden we realized that this compound is super safe. So there was no side effect at all in the first couple of hundred patients or so. Uh, and we were very excited about this because now we have a totally, we, uh, we developed a totally new um, category, category of a contrast agent which has a tremendous efficacy but no side effects. So in a way, contrast with Magnavist in the spine and in spinal MR was basically our first sort of exploration of how contrast agents would work in the spine. And there were a lot of things that today seem very evident to residents uh, that we teach residents even in their first year, such as the fact that drop metastases in the spine enhance. And in those days, though, just starting out, we really had no idea. And those first images that I'll always remember when we gave Magnavis to the first patient and saw some small drop metastases enhance was really very, very, um, a really very magical feeling. Very. Uh, very um, impressive sort of uh, results and a very sort of uh, feeling that you were really at the boundary of what was known at the time. It was one of the first. I think that when you look back and you, and, and you look at the launch of Magnavis, it was a first. It was the first paramagnetic contrast agent. We revolutionized that whole approach to magnetic resonance imaging. Um, we basically said to physicians, if you suspect these kinds of tumors, um, if the surgeon's going to be forced to operate on this patient, you have to use Magnavist. And I think it revolutionized the way that whole um, medicine, that whole area of medicine was approached from, from there on out. I think physicians would not go into an operating room without having Magnavist um, enhanced scans in their possession. It just literally revolutionized that whole surgical approach. 
I wanted to capture in the early days what it was like interfacing with our customers. And we would go in and we'd start talking to them about the very first paramagnetic agent and how it was going to improve their ability to really differentiate and to um, have a much clearer and more concise diagnosis for their patients. And it's interesting because what we did, and it's something that we're coming back to again that I'm really excited about. You know, radiologists sort of live in the celluloid world. You know, they, they, they deal with these films, you know, and uh, so we had little tiny films of actual cases that were real live cases using Magnavist injection, and that was how we sold this product. We would flip a case up and say, doctor, what do you see? And of course, you know, they'd look, and it was an MRI that was unenhanced, and then we'd flip up another scan with an enhanced MRI with Magnavist injection, and, um, you know, an acoustic neuroma, and it would just light up like a light bulb, and that's where our dialogue started, and that's where our credibility was built because we started talking to radiologists in their language by using a tool that they use every day and that's a piece of film to diagnose patients. Well, the benefit of adding contrast to an MRI examination is actually several fold. Um, it can, some, in some points, reduce the amount of time it takes to do the examination so the patient can stay in the exam, uh, in the exam for a, a shorter period of time, uh, which is especially important with MRI since they are longer exams than we're used to uh, with other aspects. Uh, but probably more importantly on the medical side that it will help us detect more new things that we don't see without contrast. So it makes the examination more sensitive. So we can uh, detect cancers or other diseases that we may not have been able to detect without the use of the contrast agent. Well, early on, uh, MRI was really used almost exclusively in the neurovascular system, the brain and the spine. And again, that's where those were the uh, applications for which uh, Magnavis was developed. And uh, now we use MRI for every part of the body. Uh, there's really n uh, not an organ in the body that we don't uh, use MRI. And for virtually every one of them, uh, Magnavist has had a role. Without the contrast, the technology would never have been developed the way it did. Um, because it was not just anatomical pictures you got anymore. You were able to differentiate tumors beginning in the brain. So you got some kind of physiological uh, type of information as well and uh, I think this all added to the growth of the technology and uh, vice versa the need of contrast was evolving as well so I think that's it's really a typical win-win situation. People are now discovering more and more indication of this uh, new and not old contrast agent that it's really exciting to see this. Well, historically, it was thought that perhaps we wouldn't even need contrast media. And it just turned out that for detection and characterization of a wide range of diseases, uh, Magnavis has proven time and time again to deliver on, on, on this product and to allow us to make diagnoses and to characterize lesions. For example, uh, in the body, renal cancers, uh, looking at them and characterizing them and to facilitate surgical planning, a Magnus Enhanced Study is a very pivotal part of that evaluation. Another example where Magnus is very useful is in liver imaging. We are called upon to detect and characterize disease all the time, and without Magnavist, there is a capacity to perform those functions, but with Magnavist, it's augmented many-fold. 
think it's very important to point out that for magnetic resonance angiography, it has changed everything. It's become a marvelous product, allowing us to make safe, non-invasive diagnoses in the vascular system. So what is Magnavis' contribution to our diagnostic business? Well, essentially, it's been the foundation, our entry into the U.S. business. Sharing has been around in the diagnostic business, created it, as a matter of fact, uh, internationally. But Magnavis was the first product, really, that we brought to the United States and built our business here, which has been growing rapidly uh, and consistently. It has allowed us to, in, a, in essence, to be a springboard to bring other products, Ultravis being one and MS325 will be another as we go into the future. It has rock solid performance, reliable profitability, as a matter of fact, highly profitable, is now and will be. Probably the, the biggest growth area that we have gone through in the last few years is uh, MR angiography, which is using MR to look at the blood vessels in the body. And we can do that everywhere from intracranially to the neck, in the chest and the abdomen, and all the way down to the lower extremities. Using gadolinium and uh, in MRI uh, helps us to do that. It's a safe procedure for the patients, and it has a lot of advantages over the way that we used to do it in the past, which is either with CT angiography or with conventional angiography. Both of the prior other methods uh, use a contrast agent which ca can potentially be damaging to the kidneys and a fair percentage of patients have allergic reactions to that contrast. So using a safe contrast agent in a non-invasive way has is, is really been a big advantage and the accuracy of those tests is, is excellent. We are already playing an important role in cardiac imaging and that is in cases where we need to make the determination as to whether there was an infarct or not. There are certain circumstances where nuclear medicine has been used in that capacity but doesn't completely do the job. We can fill that gap by using Magnavist enhanced imaging of the heart. And an area that I'm particularly interested in is looking at perfusion imaging of the heart. And that would be to delineate areas that perhaps are less perfused and therefore uh, are an indirect indicator of disease within the coronary blood vessels. Um, and then for breast cancer, breast cancer, of course, is uh, a, you know a, a very emotional uh, but also very important disease, and um, many women in the United States get it. It's a, you know a significant percentage. Um, it appears that MRI is going to be more sensitive than some of the other tests that we have. Mammography is a traditional uh, test that we've used and I think everybody's familiar with some of the controversies with mammography. Um, but MRI has been very sensitive and uh, the specificity, whereas if it's find something to know that it truly is something bad or something good, it has been improving over the years. I think sharing has been uh, always at the forefront of imaging diagnostics. We were the ones to bring the first X-ray image contrast media to the market, late 20s, 1930. Um, we have been the first uh, with the contrast media for MRI. Um, we would like to be at the forefront of the research and development for new imaging diagnostics, especially at the molecular imaging level. I have been with Burlex Laboratories since March of 1985. And I'd have to say that what Magnavis means to me, well, 
If you think about it, any product with experience has a catchphrase that you always remember. Coke, it's the real thing. Magnavist, experience, leadership, and vision. The experience comes with learning. The leadership comes with the teams that Burlex has always had. These are the most professional sales consultants, the most professional individuals. There were some skeptics out there. They did not know yet. They weren't sure. Oh, why do I need to use Magnavist? Well, once this team went out and demonstrated why, that never went any other way. The vision, I feel, we've been visionaries since the beginning. It's not just a company. It's not just another product. It's Magnavist for the betterment of a diagnosis for a patient and for the betterment of this company. We were number one, we are number one, and the vision of Magnavist is always number one. Happy anniversary, Magnavist. <laughs>